Good morning. I am Sean Roberts, Chief Technologist for Lincoln Network, and this is Lincoln Shorts. I have with me Peter Rasavi, Wireless Technology Analyst, um, and we're going to talk about um, 5G. So the first question to you, Peter, is um, how is the U.S. tackling 5G compared to other regions in the world? The United States is tackling 5G extremely effectively. There are now multiple 5G networks operating in the United States with broad coverage. The operators have deployed um, 5G in multiple spectrum bands and service is now available uh, across um, much of the country and the service is continually going to improve over the next several years. So, um, for example, I've read some that uh, China has apparently uh, made a wider, uh, more, um, I, I can't think of the right word, mandated or uh, allowed <laughs> a, a, a millimeter wave spectrum that's uh, not currently allowed in the US or at least not formally allowed. Is that, is that accurate or am I getting that slightly wrong? Uh, that's, that's slightly um, inaccurate. Okay. The United States actually has made a very large amount of millimeter wave spectrum available in the United States, but really millimeter wave and those are frequency bands, um, 24 gigahertz and higher. Um, those provide extremely high capacity and extremely high performance, such as gigabit per second throughputs, but they require a very dense network deployment and Ultimately, millimeter wave is going to play a huge role for 5G, but before we quite get there, it's going to be mid-band frequencies in the 2 to 6 gigahertz range mm -hmm. where 5G is going to provide the greatest bang for the buck. And that's because the network doesn't have to be as dense, doesn't require quite as many uh, base stations, but you still get extremely good performance throughput rates for consumers in the hundreds of megabits per second. And it's in these bands where the U.S. currently does not have as much spectrum allocated for 5G as, say, China. Okay, and that's that's where I was getting uh, getting it slightly confused. Is um, I was reading that China had a directly assigned um, a certain uh, part of the um, certain um, part of the sub six spectrum uh, to 5G, where in the U.S. apparently that's not the case. Is that accurate? Yes, the, okay. U, the US does have mid-band spectrum, but um, not as much as it really needs for the true potential of 5G. And some of the spectrum uh, in mid-band is not available yet. The, one of the biggest uh, portions of mid-band spectrum is gonna be in C-band. And um, that auction uh, to make that spectrum available isn't going to occur until um, December. And even then, it's going to be a year or two uh, before operators can deploy in that spectrum. So uh, just to be clear for people that are um, listening to this, that when I said sub six, I'm, I'm actually speaking of six gigahertz spectrum. And uh, <coughs> excuse me, um, in the C band that you speak of, what, what is that actually in um, gigahertz? Term? Yeah, C band actually. is... Um, I, I don't know the exact range, um, but right now C-band, um, when that term is used, people uh, generally mean it uh, to refer to spectrum uh, from three to four gigahertz. Got it, got it. Well, that, that helps uh, yeah. make it more clear so we're, we're not using uh, secret language. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, well, that thank you. That helps clear it up. Uh, this has been Lincoln Shorts. Um,